We're asking for a little hypothetical fun from our analysts. Guys, Kyle Dubas, he's obviously fielding calls. You heard Elliot Friedman say on headlines on Saturday night that the trades are now being considered. If that's the case, and again, this is all hypothetical, if you're Kyle Dubas, Nick, <laughs> give me a deal you would do for William so Nylander. Put your glasses on. Can, can you say hypothetical one more time? Yeah, so I want to make it clear. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, saying yeah. this is going to happen. Well, listen, it's hypothetical. You're going you're gonna to go to teams that are deep on the blue line. Let's no. face it, that's what everybody's been talking about uh, in terms of finding a defenseman oh. now. For the, I like Brandon Montour. I look at Anaheim. They are blessed with a lot of D. Mm -hmm. uh, they also got a young kid, Jacob Larson, a 2015 pick who's starting to make some noise. Mm -hmm. So it, it should make a few guys expendable. Montour would be one of those guys. Listen, Leaf fans, you are not trading a potential $7 million what Nylander expects to be for another $7 million D. you got to go and find a guy with some upside who comes in relatively cheap. Montour now has another year on top of this year at just $3.3 million. So there is a lot of flexibility there. Tremendous upside, can log big minutes, loves to jump up on the rush. He's a he's a 25 30 point guy that has the ability to turn himself maybe into a 50 point guy. And on top of that I added Richie because Montour for Nylander would not be enough. I think a guy like Richie could add some attitude some size um, and a tremendous presence when it comes to the playoffs. He could fit in nicely on the third line. And that's my trade. Kyle make it make that and listen he, and Richie, oh. Richie's got a lot like Nylander too. They're both holdouts right. He held out at the beginning of this year too. I what like, do you think of Kipper's deal. I, I don't mind it. I, I like how he went two for one like two guys for yeah. Nylander. I didn't know we were going to do that. But <laughs> I went one for one. We okay. talked about Richie for his size in the playoffs. He talked about what Montour could do. I got all this wrapped up into one big, awesome freight train. And Colton Pareko of the St. Louis Blues, 6'6", 230, a 25-year-old. And he signed at five and a half a year up until 2022. Pretty reasonable. Very good defense. Guess what? Yeah. He's 30-plus point seasons, three of them in a row. This is his fourth NHL season. He's big. He can kill penalties. He can be on the power play. He can skate pucks out on his own. Uh, he's a presence on your back end, and I got him playing right there with Jake Gardner on the right side on your second pairing, right when he comes in, Kyle Dubas. This is a one-for-one -one trade, two young guys, and a, and a deal that I think both teams would be happy with. I got Nylander. He can go in there and play with Bozak, too. He's pretty comfortable I, I look at St. Louis, and I see Petrangelo and Bo Meester struggling this mm -hmm. year. I don't think Doug Armstrong can afford to move Colton Pareko. Here's the big question. I like both those deals. And if I'm Kyle Dubas, I'm strongly considering either of those deals if they are being thrown out there. Uh, which deal's better of your two? Mine. Mine. <laughs> my, my, mine gives more depth uh, with Nick Ritchie. Rebuttal? Why have depth when you have 6'6", 230, skates like a deer? That, that could be Nick Ritchie. Listen, you, you get Nick Ritchie up front, no one's licking their faces in the playoffs. Okay? <laughs> That's what I need. <laughs> I, don't, I like That's both these point. deals. I think, I, I, I think when you add a guy that's literally a Team Canada defenseman in the future, mm. uh, and, and for a player in Nylander that you could pry a guy like that out of St. Louis, possibly with a guy like Vince Dunn that's on the horizon coming up that can take that ice time from him. Here, here, on, here's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. The window is short, and it includes this season. You cannot let this asset, asset sit on the sidelines the rest of the year. You sign them or you trade them.